I just came across this really interesting piece of granite. I'm on a colonial site, so this could be something from the 17 or 1800s. This thing is huge. I mean, that carved circle in the granite here, that thing's got a diameter of probably about three feet. I mean, this piece of stone itself is, I would say, over a foot thick. Um, and I don't know, it's just looking in the side over here. I wish I had a flashlight, but it's definitely hollowed out underneath. Like, I don't know if maybe they used this stone to cover a well so nobody would fall into it. But um, from the research I've done, this looks like this is some sort of either lye stone for like a soap making process. This shallower channel looks like it's maybe two inches wide by about an inch deep. Um, the slow leaching process, uh, they would basically take a 55 gallon drum, fill it with hardwood ash and put it on top of this. And over time, let the lye leach out of it. It would catch around in this channel that's carved around it and it would run down the side into a catch basin through that right there, which is another channel carved right into the side. You can also see a drill mark over here I don't know what, what the drill mark would be for, maybe some sort of anchor. Um, but you could definitely see the stones had a lot of use and it's, you know, whatever was done to it was done a really long time ago. Um, another option could be a cider press, um, but I think that sh that groove might be a little shallow for a cider press from what I've read. Um, typically those are deeper because the volume of fluid coming out of them is, is gonna be more. So really cool stone. Haven't come across one of these in the woods before. It was all covered in weeds. I had to sort of clear it out to get a good video, brush it off. If you like seeing stuff like this, like the video. If you've seen something like it or you have ideas what it might be, feel free to leave a comment. Also, if you like, if you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to go over stone walls. I've got tons of other types of stone structures I've come across over the years that I'm going to go back to and do videos on. So I found another little stone structure here. You could see this one's square and it's quite small. I know it's maybe three feet by three feet. I don't know what sort of foundation would be this small. Certainly have never found one like this before. Maybe a small silo of some sort. Stones are packed in there pretty tight. Let's go inside for a little look. Lots of trash, I'm assuming from over the years. You could even see that they, looks like there's some mason, masonry work. So this may be a little bit later, maybe late 1800s. They wanted to keep this sealed, keep moisture out maybe. So this, this could have been some sort of, sort of grain silo, pretty cool. All the different sides, masonry work. So this just looks like a big stone wall. Maybe they piled up a bunch of stones here. There's that standing wall again. Look at that. You can see the mortar in there. See how they stacked them? One wide stone, two narrow stones, one wide stone. They just keep going. Bigger ones at the bottom. It's probably part why that wall is still standing. Well made. The other side's completely crumbled. So standing inside this structure here, look at that, same wall, looks like the wall collapsed here. Oh, look at this, I wonder if this maybe is what happened to this structure. Five bolt, charred wood, looks like maybe this structure burned down over the years. I know this property's got, got some, uh, definitely got some history from the 1700s. 
old pieces of bottle. Look at that. Oh, look, there's another, another structural piece on this wall. Oh, definitely burnt down. Look at that. So whatever, I wonder what this could have been. Maybe some sort of barn. And it looks like they lapped the stone on top of wood with some sort of eye bolt into the wall. But you can see that's all charred. Look at that. So this structure definitely burned down. And that looks like true cut wood. So yeah, it would be older. For sure older. Pretty interesting. This looks like maybe it was a window. See how it comes down to this flat surface. Here's another complete standing wall. Look at this. Try not to get too close to it because it's definitely leaning in. Another window. Corner. Some of this is still in pretty good shape. This must have been a uh, one hell of an architect. Look at that. So I've got a summary of finds here. This is from a piece of property that I've been metal detecting for a couple of years now. A couple of different coils, XP Deus, original coil, 11 inch circular. Um, I've also run the 11 by 13 X5 on it and even one of the new high frequency elliptical coils. So each time I go back, I manage to pull some more stuff. Found some pretty cool stone structures on the property. A lot of history here, uh, I would say 17, 1800. So I'll definitely be back but I thought this was a good time to sort of summarize what I found so far. If you haven't liked or subscribed or commented on any of the videos or the channel, now's a good time. I'm gonna post more videos like this, uh, finds that I've collected over the years, places I've gone back to now that I've got more upgraded metal detecting equipment, see what stuff I missed in the past. Here is the summary of finds. So starting in the center here, are some of the cooler items take a look at that in the center I think that's a watch fob and it has WH Taft on it who was the president of the United States the 27th president of the United States uh, I think it's pretty neat that the property owner had a piece of memorabilia campaign memorabilia and in around that same time frame within I would say that same 10-year period early 1900s maybe Taft actually visited Norwich Connecticut so I think that's pretty neat Right next to it here, this is a hanging medallion, and it says, it's kind of hard to read, I'll put an undug version up on the screen um, so you can see exactly what it looks like. But this is a 250th anniversary of New London, Connecticut, and it, the town was founded in 1646. This is the 1896 anniversary medal. So I thought that was a pretty neat find, and both the Taft fob and the medal were found, I would say, within 10 feet of each other kind of interesting so got a couple of other items here looks like two spoon handles but this looks like older metal to me some sort of utensil handle they both have the same design on them looks like some sort of flowers one smaller one larger got a couple of coins here actually found these in a spill this I believe is costume jewelry I was kind of hoping it was silver but I, I couldn't find anything on it and no markings Right underneath it is the V nickel, I believe it's 1899, and an 1865 Indian head penny. All three of those items were together. Under that, a toasted large scent. I believe it's matron head large scent, found a couple of yards away from those other coins. Not quite sure what that is. If anybody knows what that is, feel free to chime in. Salt shaker, some sort of seasoning shaker. I picked up this piece of glass. I thought it was an interesting color. It's purple. Don't know if you can tell in the video, but I haven't found very much purple glass on these sites. Everybody knows what that is. Pocket knife. Impacted musket ball down there in the center of the screen. Quite a big one. Smaller musket ball next to it. A couple of flat buttons right here in the center. Big flat button right in the middle. I couldn't find any engravings, writings, anything on it. This one's got the typical London batch mark on it. You see that a lot. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. And another smaller flat button right next to the large button. I believe that's some sort of cuff, cuff button. 
Uh, this other item, I'm not quite sure what this is, but I found it with the high frequency coil. Apparently I missed it the first time I went over with the bigger X35 coil. And it's it definitely looks like older metal. I don't know if that's um, pewter or something else, but I don't know about the backside. This looks like it maybe has a layer of iron on the back of it. So not sure what that can be. Again, if someone recognizes that, feel free to chime in. A dog tag from the 1930s, identification tag. Um, some pocket watch parts. What was neat about this is there are actually some Roman numerals still left on this pocket watch piece. Thought that was pretty cool. More utensils. Um, some of these have actually some engravings on the handles. I don't know if that's something to do with the brand or possibly the owner. I'm not quite sure. This older piece of metal, not sure what this is either, but it looked old. So I thought I'd throw it in here. Definitely has some, looks like maybe some fastening holes where it was mounted to something, but it looks, looks like an older piece of metal to me. Possibly um, something significant. I don't know if anybody recognizes that. Moving up, we've got some uh, buckles. This one doesn't look very old to me. It's got some, almost looks like a black coating on it. I'm guessing that can't be very old. But these other ones could be a little bit older. This buckle actually still has fabric stuck in the clasp there. You can see some white fabric. A harmonica reed, almost forgot about that. Find those a lot. Some sort of tag here that says the Davy Tree Expert Company. Not sure what that's about. I meant to do some research on that before this video find out what year that might be next is a it looks like maybe a compact um, lid or little closure piece that's all I found unfortunately no fabric no leather no coins in that one so that's what I found on this property so far along with the other stone structures that you saw in the video um, stay tuned again if you haven't subscribed Click that subscribe button if you'd like to see stuff like this, if you want to keep track of this piece of property and what I pull off of it. Tune in for the next video, and thank you. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hover over that circle on your screen and click the subscribe button. Make sure you also turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon.